Welcome back to another Alliance War. This time around, Four Loki is taking on TWI, Turkish Ottoman Empires. These guys are uh, a little bit higher rated than us, so we know this is going to be a very difficult war. And I'm going to be taking in Stark, Spidey, Blade, and Void, my normal trio for this path here. This first node up has a little bit of a surprise to it, a little bit of a trick. Uh, no, I'm not talking about uh, it, it being a surprise because it's a five-star science champion. Uh, Five-star science jam, but on hand special one and limber. This is typically uh, either going to be uh, Yellow Jacket or Spider-Man. I've seen Yellow Jacket here more than any other champion, probably. So I'm assuming it's going to be Yellow Jacket, and it is. And I'm thinking, okay, no problem. I'll build up some poise charges just as I normally do. Get the poise charges, do a five-hit combo off of a parry, and then do another four-hit combo. This way, I can uh, you know evade the special one that sting. Uh, as easy as possible. So here we go. I got the poise charges, got the parry, got the five hit combo. Everything's going fine. Just need to get another parry and then, uh, uh, you know, four hit combo him. One, two, three, four. Back out. And I'm going to evade the special one. And holy crap, he had unfazed. <laughs> oh man, that, <laughs> that threw me off so bad, man. That unfazed. I did not see that. That's the first time that I've been hit by unfazed in Alliance 4. And, um,. Yeah, I hate to say it, hate to, uh, you know, put this out here more, but I've already put it out there on live streams in the past, that, uh, yeah, Unfazed is actually a pretty good counter to people who run Stark Spidey. Um, now, the only bad thing about it is you can, you know, like, as soon as I fought that guy, I, I you know, I looked back on the video, I found out what, what the dude's name was, shared that with my alliance, so anybody going up against that particular player, we need to look out for uh, Unfazed. Uh, and then also... You know, even though this is going to be a different player right here, I'm thinking, okay, um, play it a little bit slowly. After a special, watch watch for Unfazed, see if he has it. Uh, so, yeah, I was just kind of uh, a little bit more prepared after that first fight. And, uh, yeah, even, even going into the next war, and all wars going forward, I'm going to try to be as prepared for it as possible. I'm sure I'm going to get caught off guard by Unfazed. Uh, a little bit more. For those of you who are unaware of, of what that mastery does, just because it's a little bit of uh, an obscure mastery, it's every time you have an evade, and it has to be an auto evade, not not one of these dexterity evades, um, has to be an auto evade, and then there's a chance for the enemy uh, to go unstoppable for one second. And it's only a second, it's not that big of a deal, but it's enough to uh, you know catch you off guard like it did in that yellow jacket fight. Alright, anyway, this node is just an Ultron, and there's really not much to it, it's just a 4-star Ultron, just here for diversity purposes, so, uh, quickly run over this Ultron, no problem. He did not have Unfazed, or if he did have Unfazed, at least it, uh, it didn't trigger, so that's good. And the next fight up is going to be a 5-star Mutant Champion on the Recovery Buffet Limber node. And I'm thinking, okay... This is probably either going to be Cable or Nightcrawler, and either way, Void is going to be a, an awesome counter to both of those champions. Uh, not only can Void, you know, reverse the healing and power gain, but he actually has a, uh, you know, one of his debuffs actually uh, stops evasion, so he's even good against Nightcrawler. But, as you guys can see here, it is neither of those two champions, it's actually Archangel. Very surprising. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Nightcrawler on, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, an Archangel on this node before. And, um, and actually, the, t the two debuffs that I have on him right now are the ones that prevent evasion. Uh, not that it matters in this fight, but yeah, just to point that out. Uh, but yeah, this fight is it's it's not really anything too special. Um, you know, uh, Archangel. The, all you gotta watch out for is that you're not uh, getting clipped by him at all. You know, if you accidentally eat a special or get hit by uh, a heavy attack or something like that, or even just charge into him and he, and he nails you with a five hit combo. Uh, those bleeds can do a massive amount of damage. So I'm just trying to play it a little bit carefully here. Probably a little bit too carefully in some cases. He's got five debuffs on him right now, and the sixth one is about to trigger, so I hold my special one. And it's going to start to take fear of the void now. And after this next combo, I'm going to go in, throw my special, and start these, uh, these debuffs, reapplying these debuffs nice and quickly. Uh, it, it applies so much faster after the first uh, Fear of the Void is up, too. You guys can see I already have two debuffs. There's the third debuff, and I've got two Petrifies now. So um, when I do trigger, uh, you know, Buffet, whenever I do uh, evade and attack, he's going to be taking a lot of damage. Actually, he didn't take as much there as he normally does. He only took about 7%. 
Uh, maybe I just didn't have enough debuffs on him to, uh, you know, have it really do a lot of damage, but uh, it feels like he wasn't taking as much damage as he had in the pa as enemies have in the past uh, with Fear of the Void and two Petrified debuffs. Uh, like, even there, I, I feel like he should have taken a bit more damage than he did, so hopefully there's no bug, hopefully uh, maybe it's just something with Archangel that I'm, that I'm not aware of where he didn't take as much damage, uh, you know, as, as I thought he would, but in any case, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a slow, drawn-out fight, but I do end up taking down Archangel at, after about uh, two minutes of uh, applying debuffs there with Void. It'd be awesome if I can get a five-star Void. These fights would go a little bit faster and just have that extra, you know, extra safety of uh, having a little bit more health on my champion there. Uh, Alright, anyway, next note up. This is just going to be a four-star skill. And I really was not too sure who I was going to see here. I was thinking, you know, maybe Kingpin. I've seen Kingpin on this node before. Um, you know, it's, it has a little bit of a power gain to it. Uh, it it's also has, you know, power start one star with one bar of power. I, don't, I really wasn't sure who I was going to see. Agent Venom, Black Panther Civil War possibly. And it's actually Punisher. Okay, no problem. Punisher Stark Spidey is a, uh, is a fantastic counter uh, to Punisher. Uh, and if you notice there, he uh, he actually triggered unfazed at the beginning of this fight. So this guy actually does have unfazed. So I'm gonna have to keep uh, keep a lookout for that. Um, but he doesn't trigger it here. I mean, the thing about unfazed, which uh, is 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 both good and bad, uh, is that it it doesn't trigger every time. Uh, it, it almost makes it more difficult the fact that it doesn't trigger every time. If it triggered every time, you would know automatically. Okay, don't go in. But. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, because it doesn't trigger every time, it can catch you off guard. So I go ahead and fire off my special, and luckily he doesn't go immune or invulnerable, and he just drops dead. R.I.P. Punisher. Uh, and we have one node after this to go, which is the Power Shield node. And this Power Shield node is going to be a Mutant Champion. And it's going to be a 5-star Mutant Champion, and I wasn't too sure who to expect here. Um, I've seen Iceman on this node before, and uh, when I was looking at the, uh, when I looked at his profile, uh, I wasn't, wasn't really too sure I was going to see. It's, it's uh, Power Gain Special, Enhanced Special 2, Power Shield. Um, I can't remember if I, if I look at his profile on video here or not. Uh, I definitely checked it out before entering the war, but... Uh, for whatever reason, I was thinking it, you know, it, it's probably not an Iceman, because I, I didn't see an Iceman in his profile, I don't think. Um, but, just on the, you know, to be on the safe side, just pop a little level 2 Alliance Health Potion. Not a big deal, just a couple of units, just to kind of top myself off a little bit more. You know, I, I probably could have held off on that boost, too, but there was a boost in the store at the time, so I was thinking I'll just replenish that, no big deal. Uh, play it a little bit safe. And it ends up being Magneto on this node, okay. So, Magneto... You know, I understand why they would place him on this node, because you can only take a certain amount of damage from special attacks, so uh, in the right situation, maybe maybe this is actually a good, good placement, but Stark Spidey, because he has multiple attacks on his special two, uh, he kind of gets around that. Now, I tried building up some poise charges, but magnetism does prevent poise charges from building, um, so you know, a little, little bit of a wasted time here. I was, I was just hoping that I could get maybe like one or two more uh, poise charges before dropping my L2, but I said screw it. We throw the L2 anyway, and I, luckily I get three crits, which, uh, with the shock damage, is enough to take him down. So, very quick and easy fight there against that Magneto. Um, definitely, I, I was definitely happy to see Magneto on that node uh, versus some of the other champions that could have, you know, possibly been. Uh, and that is actually it for my path here. Uh, I did not die in this war, which... Uh, these days, uh, I can't always say that, that's for sure. <laughs> some, of these, uh, some of these fights get pretty tough for me. Uh, but I did not actually die in this war. Uh, we did go on to lose this one. Uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, uh, Turkish Ottoman Empires, TWY, they are a very strong alliance, and uh, you know they, they, they bested us by, by a few kills there. They, uh, they died a few times less than we did. So good war to you guys. Uh, we may run into each other. Again, at some point, I'm sure we will. Uh, for Loki, we seem to uh, begin a whole bunch of repeat alliances as uh, I think the war that's going on right now is about to be another repeat. But anyway, we'll get to that when we get to it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.